Okay, so welcome everyone to the webinar for the Drupal South Splash Awards. Can I just confirm that people can hear me? Yes, you're all good. Fantastic. So let's kick things off and um, thank you everyone for your patience while we troubleshooted our technical difficulties this morning. Um, I would just like to start this session uh, as an acknowledgement to country. So woman Jika, welcome from Wurundjeri country. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land we meet on today and pay our respects to their elders past, present and emerging. As the oldest continuous living culture on earth, I extend my respect to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people who might be present today. Um, also today, first up, I would like to um, do a big shout out to Technocrat, um, who are our award sponsor um, and have uh, allowed us to make this program available for the whole Drupal community. So we have a lot on our agenda today. We have about 30 minutes allocated and we will do our best to cover the following topics. If you have any questions, um, please put them into the chat and we will do our best to tackle them after the presentation. The Drupal South Committee are very excited to be bringing the Splash Awards to Australia and New Zealand. Since 2018, the Splash Awards have been an international program cha championed by Drupal. Since 2019, the awards have been held annually with winners being announced at the Drupal Cons in Europe and the United States. Now we have this opportunity uh, for Australian businesses to enter with the inaugural Splash Awards uh, Australia, which is going to be the only regional award committed to Drupal. The Drupal South Committee aimed to make this an annual activity with the event being aligned with the Drupal South conferences and obviously we'll be presenting the first uh, series of awards uh, in Wellington in May. So this is a great opportunity to showcase uh, the best work you've completed in the past year. The trophy on its own is pretty awesome and will look amazing in your office. Drupal South will be promoting the winners actively as part of the award process um, and participating in the awards may provide a great vehicle to promote your business and put your Drupal expertise and skills front and center. I'm just gonna whiz through quickly just so how we do have time um, at the end uh, for any questions. Um, so I just want to highlight that there are six categories. Um, so we've got the corporate category that uh, is servicing online identities for businesses, organizations, or professional individuals. The design UX category is for websites uh, that have uh, very strong visual design experiences and are intended to be beautiful, emotional, and appeal to the senses. The not-for-profit uh, category is uh, for websites that are designed for charitable um, organizations um, whose primary purpose is helping people or other worthy causes. The education category is for sites that are educational and promote um, education or provide online curriculum or educational services. The government category uh, is for websites and platforms developed for any level of government, and it also includes political movements as well. Publishing category is uh, uh, focused on content-driven platforms, um, and they're, they're essentially platforms that invite you to immerse yourself into the content. Judges. So all submissions will be reviewed by a professional and impartial panel, essentially members of the Drupal community who excel in their fields of expertise. Um, any panel members who have any conflict and interest in reviewing a submission will recuse themselves from voting on any submissions in that track. Judges um, are vo volunteers and their identities are not revealed until after the award ceremony. Um, individual judging scores will be kept confidential. 
Um, there will be a call out for judges coming shortly. Um, so if you are interested in that area, uh, please put your hand up. So judging criteria. Um, so we'll be judging on concept and strategy, and that's essentially the, the plan behind the website. Is the concept clear, unique, and consistently implemented? Does the website tell a story? Does the chosen strategy and the final elaboration of the product fit the objectives that served as the starting point for the project? Uh, design and UX, everything that is visible for the end user, including UX, motion and visual design on both desktop and mobile. Judges will be looking for design that is of a high quality, fits the target audience and supports the message that needs to be conveyed. Technology, websites that will be assessed against their speed and whether they function properly. In this criteria, the Drupal application is also being considered. Has the build followed Drupal standards? Is the implementation innovative? Um, are there integrations with third-party systems? Business case. Is this criteria, um, in this criteria, we're looking for a positive business outcome for the website. So has the website increased sales, lowered costs, provided a better brand experience? Do the analytics from the site show that the goals have been achieved or even exceeded? And then finally, community value. Uh, so essentially, as we all know, Drupal is an open source platform and owes its, its existence to the community behind it. All submissions will be judged on the value the website returns to this community. This could be code, for example, modules published on drupal.org, but also indirect contributions such as um, awesome cases and well-known brands that are now using Drupal, which contributes to the marketing and overall um, uh, publicize, publicization of Drupal. So the process. So uh, obviously the submissions are open now. Uh, we're doing the info webinar today. So that's exactly where we are. And then um, submissions are closing in 10 days. So um, some information on the project that uh, you will submit. Um, so the website you put forward needs to represent uh, work that's been completed in the last year. Um, the website does need to be live and in a production environment. And obviously uh, the website does need to be a Drupal um, project. Uh, reviewing the form. So we recommend that you review the form now. There are six questions for you to answer and uh, each question does have a character limit. We also recommend that you check out the international website um, at splashawards.org and that will give you some greater context and maybe some inspiration for your submission. We will be providing a template for you um, to help you to prepare for your submission. Um, but uh, just a reminder that you must provide the answers on the online form uh, supplied uh, by Drupal South. Submissions tips. So we recommend that you review the categories and select the one that fits best for your project. Answer all of the questions um, and each question has a word count. Um, so you need to stick to that. Read the questions in detail and take notes on the key points you need to answer. We recommend that you share the workload, get team members involved uh, to answer the key points and questions that are relevant to them and make sure that you set a deadline for them so you've got plenty of time to finalize your submission. When you collate all of the information, um, spend some time re revising your answers and be clear and succinct. Spend some time structuring your reasons for why you think your project is in innovative, interesting, and awesome. Make sure there is a clear story for a judge to follow. Remember the judges will be looking at many submissions, so make, take some time to make sure that your one stands out. 
Ensure the submissions fit your agency tone, make it personal and unique. Review the answers against the question and ask yourself the key question, have I answered that question? Get some fresh eyes on your submission, share it with your team and ask for feedback. Ask them to let you know if anything has been missed out. Is a submission a compelling story or argument? Incorporate any feedback that you receive. Also, we recommend telling your client that you're making a submission. Include them in the process. It's a really good way to build that relationship that you have with your client. Ask them to supply a testimonial to back up the argument in your, in your submission. So um, just some important info, I guess. Uh, so you can submit up to three different entries um, and you can obviously submit all entries into one category if you select or choose to do that. The cost is uh, $50 New Zealand. So it's a bit cheaper for us Aussies at $46.42 as of uh, a couple of days ago. Um, and of course, the, the award ceremony will be at the conference um, and it will be an event not to miss. Uh, Mike and I have got some great plans for that and it's going to be an awesome event. So that is the presentation. And uh, we just again want to, rec um, to recognize Technocrat as our sponsors. Are there any questions? So it's pretty quiet at the moment, but I know that was quite a bit to take in to start with. Um, so just want to see, as uh, Julie said, if anyone has any questions, just pop those through into the chat or the Q&A, um, either or works for us. Um, and I see I've got a hand raised from Dave Sparks, who's our committee head. So what I'm going to do, Dave, I'm going to promote you up to being a panelist. Um, so hopefully you'll get a little pop up in a second and you can continue conversation next. Awesome. Welcome, Dave. Perfect. All right. So I've got a question here from Murray to start with. Dave, do you want to kick off first, though? Uh, yeah, I just had a question. Is there going to be any weighting um, in the judging criteria for project budget? Uh, are you small but perfectly formed where it's going to have um, a fair footing against larger or cashed up projects? Okay, good question. I might have to take that one away and find out um, unless, Mike, you can slack me uh, your answer because I'm not fully aware of that. Um, also should point out uh, that um, it, when you're presenting a website, you do need to get the client uh, permission um, to put that project forward. And that is one of the, the key requirements uh, for, for your submission as well. So we'll loop back to you on that one, Dave. Um, I will just flag Mike is technically on the line. However, he is invisible. So we haven't been able to get him up and running properly, um, but we will take any questions that need to be put past him um, and loop back to you all on that. Um, and that includes yours as well, Dave. And then, uh, so I've got another question here from Murray. Is it true that people will be dressing up for the awards night? Yes, it is true. So um, the, the theatre where the conference is held is a, a fabulous 1930s um, building in, in Wellington. Um, so, uh, certainly I think Mike and I, and some of the previous next guys, um, are pretty keen to, to get, uh, dressed up. Hope that helps Murray. Um, does anyone else have any other questions? Because it's looking a little quiet, which hopefully means you've got all the answers that you need. Uh, there's now, a, there's a question in the Q and A, Nicole from, so from Griffin. Griffin. Are yeah. platforms that have been live for more than 12 months uh, but continually improved uh, upon also eligible or only projects that started and launched within the last year are allowed to be successful? So what I would say to that is that if 
um, the project has had a substantial feature released and you can put forward a meaningful and compelling story um, around that, then that will be allowed. Any other questions from anyone? pretty quiet um if you do think of something I know you'll be working on your submissions over the next 10 days or as the case may be the 24 hours prior um just pop through to Julia she'll happily she and Michael will happily help with the questions um Andre I see you've got one in here so can can you provide a copy of the explanation of the judging criteria please so Julia uh, yes, so if um, you want to hit me up, um, I will be supplying a template um, and we can also include the judging criteria in that documentation as well. Looks like we've got Michael online. So let me promote him over. There you go, Michael, you should be able to add any commentary if you'd like to. Thank you. Um, I, <laughs> after all that technical difficulty on my end, no, I don't have any commentary to uh, to add. Thank you. No, oh, no worries. Well, as I said, Michael and Julia are both here to help you um, so that you put forward an amazing submission and fingers crossed that will obviously get you the win. Um, if you've got questions, though, just pop them through. We've got 10 days before submissions close, just before Easter. So hopefully we'll see a few come through. Um, but I just want to say thank you to everyone for jumping on today. Really appreciate the support and so excited that everyone is super keen for the awards. Um, anything else, Julia or Michael, you wanted to add before we wrap up today? Just uh, good luck, everyone. Yeah, I'll second that. Really looking forward to it. Awesome. Well, thanks, everyone. Have